Hey guys, it's March 15th and we're in the middle of another probably eight to 10 day cold snap. So while the girls are all put to bed, snuggled up, trying to stay warm, I'm out here in the bee shed. I'm gonna melt down some wax, get ready to roll it on to some new plastic foundation. Got about 220 sheets going in. And while I'm standing here waiting, I figured I would share with you two beekeeping hacks we have used you can tell how long uh, i've had this smoker it's this is probably about 10 years old and this is how i store my hive tool so during an inspection it's i try not to put this down uh, i'll obviously manipulate frames and stuff with it in my hand but at the end of the day i try to always put my uh, hive tool back with my smoker because then I don't have to go and chase it. Those are hard drive uh, rare earth magnets. I just took and wired them to my cage. Anytime I need to put my, my hive tool down, it goes right on my smoker. That's pretty handy. So I did this probably again about 10 years ago. I drilled a small hole. I don't know if you can see that, but I drilled a small hole. Took that clamp, opened it up, ran it through, pinched it back, and now I have a clippable queen cage clip on a retractor. Um, you can accomplish the same thing probably with just a little um, with a key ring, but that right there. That's super handy. What's the matter? Oh, did you did you chomp at that little spicy? No, don't do that. <laughs> no, don't do it. Last night got down to about 25 or so, and it's only about 48 degrees now. But the roar from where the beehives have come to life and this little bit of sun down here in this valley is amazing. I thought at first it was a swarm, to be honest with you. It's so loud, but it's just that, uh, it's just the bees coming to life, getting to that point of, of the season where they start to really build and Good numbers and lots of bees and this is the sound that they make. We love it. <laughs> 